All right, so welcome to the webinar today, guys. We are going to be getting into some real exciting stuff. I'm pretty sure some stuff that you guys have uh, have probably never seen before. Um, but I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me good. So if you can go inside the uh, in the Q and A box or the questions box and just make sure that uh, everybody can hear me. Also, how I want to make sure that everybody's feeling just as good as I am today. Had a great day. Hope everybody else is having a great day. Um, and uh, also, I know everybody's been waiting to get on, but uh, there's still other people joining. So let's uh, be respectful and uh, give them time to to get on. But I also want to be respectful of those that uh, you know that that are on on time as well. So we we are going to be looking at a new strategy that teaches you guys how to make 200 to 500% returns using this little known strategy. And all this is all backed by the government. So your money is guaranteed. And the best part of it is you're giving back to the community and helping your disabled veterans uh, in the process. So we're gonna cover a lot of stuff, take notes, and uh, just be ready to, to, uh, to have a good time, really. So before we get started, um, I want to make sure that you guys have all your distractions off um, and have something to take notes, all right? I know a lot of people have a lot of windows open, you got Facebook going, um, cell phones going, so shut your door and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sit back, relax, and, uh, you know, really just give yourself the best opportunity to, to really absorb what you're going to learn here today. Um, as soon as you guys are ready, um, I am ready. So, uh, I'm going to be interacting with you guys live today, answering questions. This way I can get your feedback and I want to make sure that you guys really understand, you know, everything that's, uh, that's being gone over today. So just really be ready to have your current business reality challenge. Um, and as you've already seen, uh, it's time to enter, interact live, so if you want uh, to get the most out of what we're going to be doing today, get familiar with the, uh, with the Q&A box on the webinar, all right? I want you guys to, you know, ask as many questions as you want, and I'll get back to them, um, you know, at the end of the webinar. So, who, who, is this, who is this training for, right? So, if you're currently involved either you know real estate investing for a while or even if you're even if you're brand new okay um if you're finally ready to reach success um with little to no money out of your pocket and little to no competition because i can promise you guys this this strategy has virtually no no competition um you know really whatsoever um, and it's really for anybody that has not reached their, their highest profitability in real estate investing yet, all right? So, and, and I'm specifically, I'm going to go over and give you an inside look and how you guys can utilize this little known program to really just skyrocket and supercharge your investing success, all while helping special needs and disabled veterans all at the same time. So you're not going to be dealing with any more problem tenants, fixing toilets, chasing down non-paying tenants, you know, all, all that stuff is, is going to be a thing of the past, all right? So, and on this session, I'm going to go over with you guys how to make 200 to 500 per, uh, percent returns on any property that you own or manage, okay? Um, and the next thing is we're going to go through why the government will actually guarantee your rental income for these properties every single month. Then we're going to go over how to tap into millions of dollars that the government has put aside or earmarked for this particular little known public assistance program. Then we're also going to go through how to get thousands of dollars in rental increases every single month. Um, it's probably one of the craziest things I saw the government. They automatically send you rent increases every month. You don't have to bother tenants. You don't have to ask nobody. You just automatically uh, get it inside your mailbox. So why should you guys stick around? Uh, at the end of this, I'm going to end up holding a live Q&A section, okay? Um, I'm going to guarantee 
any results if you guys take action, okay? I can guarantee you the results if you're gonna take action. I'm also gonna go through how to access all of our proven methods on monetizing this program, all right? We're gonna show you guys, we're gonna really pull back the curtain. This has never been done before, and we're gonna show you all our proven methods so you guys can really, really see and, and get a, a, a solid strategy and a solid proven method on, on really making money. And I'm also gonna give you guys a free gift at the end valued at $197, um, which, you know, should be, uh, should be another reason for you guys to stick around as well. So let me ask you guys a question. Does this sound like you? Are you right now working way too hard for not enough money? You feel like you're not being paid what your true worth is? Maybe you're worried about being stuck uh, with the property that you can't pay for due to problem tenants. Uh, are you stuck at a certain income level and you can't seem, seem to move forward? Maybe you've plateaued. Uh, maybe you can't sleep because you have no clue how to make consistent income with real estate investing. Or are you having a hard time possibly finding properties because the competition is way too high and all the, all the good properties are taken. Maybe you have inconsistent cash flow. Uh, maybe you're unsure how to get funding, you know, for, for, for any of your deals, right? So there's, there's a lot of things that as being an investor we face and we come up against, right? And really without having a, a, a proven method or a strategy, you really send a lot of your, your time in survival mode. So go inside the Q&A box, how, many, how much time are you really spending in survival mode right now? Really feast or famine? So it, and you guys really have the decision that you can stay where you are right now, or you can make a change. Which making a change sometimes is probably one of the harder things to do since, since we're humans and we're creatures of habit. But by making a change, that's the only way you're going to succeed. And really, what, what's, what is the real problem that you're facing right now? What is the real problem that, you, that, you really, that you're really coming up against? The real problem you're facing is you don't have a unique proven system to generate high dollar residual profits on autopilot in an untapped niche, nor the methods to make the real estate investing work for you. Plus, you're up against prices on homes are, are rising, while inventory and high equity homes are decreasing, and to top it off, competition's at an all-time high. I mean, it's crazy out there right now. You can't go to an auction without having 10 or 15 people bombarding you on the same, on the same property. But if you had our methods in our systems, right, you wouldn't be dealing with any of that. You would have high equity investing opportunities. They would flow in like clockwork. You would close more deals and consistently start increasing your income with guaranteed payments. You're not chasing anybody anymore for, for rents. As far as you have to go is your mailbox. You don't need to drain your bank account, over leverage yourself or fight heavy competition as everyone else crawls over for each uh, uh, crawls over each other, fighting for the same properties and buyers, you realize that your obstacles that you really had were never really there to begin with. You're gonna you can consistently increase your income. These are guaranteed payments. There's no more hoping that your tenant's gonna have the money this month. This is in your mailbox every month or direct deposited in your account. You'll be able to reach a six figure plus income level faster than you ever thought possible. And you're going to feel great about doing it because I mean, let's face it, you're giving back to your community. You're going to, you're going to get to do all this while enjoying the freedom and the lifestyle that you want and that you work so hard that you were, that you worked so hard to achieve. 
Does this, does this sound good to any of you guys? Go in the Q&A box and let me know if this sounds good to any of you guys. So you got to have the right mindset anytime you get into any, into any, any business venture. And real estate is no different. You have to have the, the yes, you can mentality. Yes, you can create a successful REI business that has guaranteed residual income, okay? And one that has explosive growth, free from heavy competition, has guaranteed income, and gives back to your community in an incredible way. Using what you're going to learn here today, you're going to be able to do all of that. This is something that's rare and something that you don't, you're not going to find anywhere else. Nobody's teaching this out there. And when you do this, you're going to be given a system that generates guaranteed and predictable residual income. That's guaranteed and predictable residual income. Month in and month out like clockwork. I know my business before, it wasn't, it wasn't like clockwork. It was feast or famine. I didn't know whether if I had a check coming or not. And with this system, you're not going to be dealing with any cold calls, no cold emails, no scraping for properties or buyers. Again, ever. Those days are over. This means that you're going to have a real estate business with systems and strategies generating income that's predictable and sustainable and you're going to have more free time, more energy, and the ability to do what, whatever it is that you love to do. Doesn't that sound good? If that sounds good to you guys, go in the Q&A box and let me know that sounds good to you. So who am I? My name is Michael Fernandez, and I have closed over $100 million in real estate transaction uh, over the past 15 years. Uh, right now, I manage a portfolio of eleven dollars worth uh, worth of real estate that is fully dedicated to special needs housing. That's that's all we do, um, and it's generating about one point eight million in, in revenue right now for uh, for my business. Prior to that, I raised over more than forty million dollars uh, in investment funding within a five year period. 90% of the portfolio that we manage right now, we have bought with zero money out of pocket. Not a dollar has come out of pocket. And we're considered the preferred special needs housing provider in a four county radius in New York. Actually, now it's up to six. I've been featured in numerous magazines. I've been featured in Entrepreneur Worldwide, Work at Home Success. Worldwide Solutions, Savoir Fair Magazine, uh, the Norwalk Business Council for Veterans, Blog Talk Radio. So I've been around uh, a bit. Um, and why why I do this? The big uh, the big why, um, you know, for for everyone and everybody's why is different. You know, what's your why? My why is is uh, is my family, right? What's your why? Everybody's got a why that drives them. That's mine. So let me, let me talk a little bit about what my business was in, in the past. So when the market crashed back in 2007, 2008, uh, I lost my entire savings, all my investments, everything, cars, house. I was left with about 300 bucks a week to, to live on. The fund I work for, because I work for a hedge fund um, down in Manhattan, the fund I work for, it no longer needed my position. So I no longer had a job. There was, they weren't lending money anymore. They, were, they became a property management company more than anything. Um, so I, I lost my job. And obviously, once I lost my job, I lost everything else uh, behind it. I actually ended up living in a shared one-bedroom apartment with five other men who I never knew before in my life. Half of them were either homeless, addicted to drugs, and the apartment's living room, which was considered my bedroom, was divided into four sections by, it was cut off by cl uh, clothesline and sheets draped over it. And everybody kind of had their own 
little section, so to speak, in, in the living room. And, you know, not really the best living conditions, but it's really all, all I could afford. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't really going to get anything else. So now just imagine going from 70000 a month, which what I was earning at the fund, to losing everything down to 300 bucks a week. So I obviously had to figure out what to do, and I had to figure it out fast. So and I, I, made a, I made a promise to myself that really if I was ever to make it out of this situation, um, I would begin to help other people and try to make it so that no one really had to experience the living conditions that, that I had to experience and, and, and live on while I was going through this travesty in my life. So I began to assess, sit back and assess the markets, see how I could really get back into the real estate game because with no money and really with my credit destroyed, how far was I going to go? So I sat in my little corner of the room and I began to do research every day after work. And I worked at a, a restaurant which lasted for about six months. Um, then one day I had realized after doing all this research that there were a ton of homeowners who, who were in trouble um, in, in one way or another. And there was tons of people who needed help with, with uh, getting homes to rent, housing to rent. You know, obviously I, I did what everybody else did as well. I began to learn from the real estate gurus and, and go through, uh, uh, you know, all the training programs that I could. And what I did was I took little bits and pieces of what I learned and kind of developed my own, my own strategy. And then within my first 90 days of implementing the strategy, I closed 20 properties and all I did all of them with no money out of pocket. So I found a way to get properties that really nobody wanted um, because all these properties were, were over leveraged. Um, and I was able to turn those, those um, properties into housing for people that were homeless, uh, including the veterans and including with people um, with special needs. And then really, you know, uh, the rest from there is, is, is kind of history. And, and we are where we are um, pretty much, you know, today. But why it sucked really before I developed uh, this unique strategy um, all the way through. So before to, uh, putting together the strategy, you know, look, I tried wholesaling. I tried uh, fixing and flipping, subject to doing the contract for the lease purchase. I did all of those. Problem was it, was, it was just so difficult and took so much time to make a deal happen. And I either could not get the money to purchase the home and renovate it, or I didn't have a big enough list of cash buyers to make my wholesale deals happen the way I really wanted them to. Um, the subject to and the contract for deed or lease purchase was hard because it was very difficult to find the buyers with, with substantial down payments. Um, and also I really just wasn't closing the amount of deals that I really wanted to close. Um, and also, you know, with, with all these deals, the subject to the wholesaling, the, the uh, fix and flips with all of those, once the house was sold and, and, and was gone, I had to start all over again. So it was just like having a job. I really just wanted a strategy that was, you know, going to pay me over and over um, again. And obviously traditional landlording was that, but traditional landlording was out because with regular tenants, you're not going to make enough income after the expenses every month. So that, that was a, that was a no go. And really everything I tried failed, so to speak. And not to mention, I ended up losing a rehab deal back, um, you know, a few years back be, uh, to the lender because I couldn't sell it fast enough. Um, and really, let's not forget going all the other things that can happen with going over budget, all the unforeseen issues that arise. It was just, it was just a headache, you know, and it's not something that I really wanted to deal with. I had my family telling me to really just get a regular job, stop torturing myself, and really just stop, start building my life back and to stop, you know, chasing a crazy dream of real estate investing, trying to be next uh, Donald Trump or Warren Buffett, you know, and, and for me to really just get a job and, and that gives me a steady paycheck every week. But 
that's not what I wanted to hear. I, I, I refused to hear that. I refused to give up on my dream no matter what. So I separated myself from all the naysayers and I sat back and after doing some research and digging, I saw another huge need for housing for special needs community as well as our veteran community. And from there, spent my special needs housing business was, was born, right? So discovering this, this, uh, discovering the secret is really, you know, what, what did it for me and, and the, the secret or the, the inner workings as I call it. Um, but obviously before, before discovering the, the secret to, to all this, I obviously had to give it, uh, my skeptical try, so to speak. And, uh, this was back in September of 13, um, after many failures and blown deals and other bumps and bruises that I got from, from the real estate business, um, I finally had my aha moment, right? I was sitting in my office and was looking, I was looking at a pile of um, dead leads that I had in a pile, my little pile of, of good leads. And I really began to notice that all the leads were mainly deals that were over leveraged, underwater, um, and and other investors they they really they didn't want any of these deals. There was no 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 use for them. Um, therefore, the competition was was nil uh, with other investors, and these homeowners really had nobody to turn to really except except for me. So I sat back and I really began to figure out how to present a deal to the homeowner that would benefit them as well as benefit myself. So what I did was I began to think about uh, really the living situation that I just came from a, you know, a couple of years back. And I wanted to see if I could use these homes I got from the troubled homeowners to help help those in need, the disabled vets, people with special needs, um, developmental disabilities. Um, but obviously I wanted to make money. I mean, of course, you know, we do this, do this for money, but I also wanted to help back, uh, help others and, and give back. There was, uh, actually something that, uh, I had heard from Tony Robbins one time that really kind of stuck in my head. And that was the secret to living is giving. Right. So giving back, not always being so self-absorbed about making money and only thinking about yourself. So I decided to figure out a way to really combine real estate, giving back and giving myself the life that I wanted. So, again, I started researching, began speaking to case workers, lawyers, people from social services, other investors who I had heard done this type of, of housing before. But came across a problem. Problem was that the investors who were doing this, they didn't want to teach me anything or give me any insight to anything because they either looked at me as competition or they wanted to be paid off one, one or the other. I mean, even public officials were trying to hit us up for money. I really couldn't figure out why they, they, they were going so crazy and didn't want to really you know, show us, show us the ropes until I really got to see the inner workings and saw how lucrative this was. And that's why they did not want anyone knowing and they really didn't want to show me anything. They wanted to keep it really all for themselves, even though it'd be practically impossible and they would never even come close to housing, even a fraction of those in need. So after learning all I really could from caseworkers and researching on my own, I began to put my first deal together. And that was, let me tell you, no easy feat. I screwed up everything from which agencies to contact, how to contact them properly, um, how to set the house up correctly with the, um, with the furnishings, how much to charge, you name it, everything in between, um, you know, those things I, I, I screwed up. So, then I, I kind of had a aha moment number two, so to speak. Um, I was going to call a few agencies and pretend that I had a family member who was in need of housing, so to speak, 
and get the agencies to give me the information that way instead of me trying to figure it out for myself. Well, it, it made things much faster, but it still took much longer than I needed it to to really, you know, get done what I needed to get done. And it was still better than 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 uh, than trial by error. Um, but obviously, you know, after doing and doing and doing, you know, you start gaining some traction. So now if you speed ahead about six months or so, eight months, at this point, I now have my first two houses up and running. Uh, running. They're bringing in about $6,000 a month each in gross income with $3,000 in net income per month. I mean, where where are you going to get that kind of money? You don't you don't get that kind of money from traditionally uh, traditional landlording, that's for sure. Most people only make five to six grand off a wholesale deal, and then, like I said before, once the house is gone, you know it's gone. But I'm making this residually every month. So, really, the only way for me to learn was was really trial and and uh, by trial and error because I, I didn't have anyone to teach me except for the few vague things from the caseworkers and uh, uh, you know, a book I had read, which was, that wasn't really, you know, detailed either. And it was missing a ton of stuff. Um, fortunately, I made this course so really that you guys don't have to go through all of the stuff that I went through because you're going to have access to the course that gives you this complete um, blueprint on really just starting running, growing, um, you know, a special needs housing business, which is something I've, I would have, I would have killed for, um, back then. And you really, um, you really, this, this is really where my life changing results, um, started happening. Right. So after about six months of tons of trial and error and the first two houses that we, you know, that we had up and running, which was bringing in a grand total of about 12,000 uh, a month in gross and 6,000 net um, off these two single family homes, which is obviously, again, unheard of in the rental business. Um, so once, uh, once, once the, I guess the word started kind of getting out, I was going to um, different RIAs and once I began to speak to other people about what I was doing, um, you know, most of it was, was done at RIAs and, and different events. I started getting people to flock to me. They, you know, it was something new, something unique. So they never heard of it before. So, you know, people are traditionally inquisitive. So they, they wanted to know more. Um, you know, so as I'm breaking this down to people, I see light bulb, it looked like light bulbs going off in their head and they started, you know, wanting to partner with me on deals and trying to figure out how they could start, um, you know, kind of collaborating with me and, and, and wanting to get involved in these transactions. So this is where I had another kind of aha moment. Uh, I said to myself, self, now you're getting these homes for nothing because if you remember we're, we're um, getting them from troubled homeowners so we weren't putting any money out of pocket because they were you know over leveraged most of the time um and these investors are bugging me to come in on a deal to buy in on a deal so i'm getting the properties for nothing and i had them bugging me to come in on a deal so what I did was I decided to tell the investors who wanted to come in on these deals with me, they had to buy in for 50,000 per house and I would give them 40% of the net income off of the property. Now they were super excited because they were putting up $50,000 to make uh, $2,000 a month or $1,500 a month when normally they would have to go buy and spend 240,000 to make maybe 500 after all the expenses, you know, with a normal tenant. So with 50,000, they were ahead of the game. And for me, it was great because that whole 50,000 went right in my pocket up front from the investor as they're buying. So uh, since I wasn't, I wasn't needing any money to get into the deal, 
right? It just made sense that I would just keep all the 50,000 and, and profit right away, right? So I took all these pieces and I started, I combined them into one huge master strategy and we started calling it special needs family style housing. And this is a strategy that changed my life completely. Before this, it was a headache and feast or famine up and down. Um, I now give back to those in need. My partner and I make a ton of residual money every month. Um, I'm working on my business, not in my business. Um, I have financial freedom and I get to live life on my terms now. I have a great team behind me. I mean, what else, what else could you ask for? I'm making tons of residual money with no monthly headaches of problem tenants um, and being able to, being able to help uh, others in need in our community, like the disabled veterans and folks with special needs. I mean, how can, how can you get any better than that? Really? And with this strategy, there was things that we never had to do again, that you'll never have to do again, because you're getting all of your tenants pre-screened. You're getting all your tenants handed to you. You don't have to do any marketing. You're not chasing down sellers or buyers. Um, you're not driving for dollars anymore. There's no more hanging bandit signs. Uh, no more attending property auctions or, or networking events, unless you like networking events. I, I, don't, I don't mind, but the property auctions suck. Uh, no more cold calling, cold emailing. Uh, no more praying to God for good tenants and wondering if, if, if we're going to be paid every month. This is actually going to be the fastest, simplest, most rewarding uh, strategy that you guys will ever, ever come across. And you're finally going to be able to reach the level of profitability that you desire in a quality of lifestyle to go with it, guys. Honestly, before this, I tried every strategy. And I'm not just telling you this just to bullshit you. I did do every strategy. Um, and, uh, you know, but every everybody's different. Everybody has different luck. But, you know, from what I've seen and I've spoken at tons and tons of RIAs, um, you know, it, it's it's rough out there, guys. It's rough out there. So ask yourself this question. Is your current job or business, your methods and, strat and strategies, creating the results and income that you want every day? Are you, seeing, are you seeing the results that you want every day? Go inside the Q&A box and let me know if you're seeing those results that you want. Because I can tell you before this, I wasn't. And I can tell you about a lot, a lot of people that I speak to uh, on a weekly basis, daily basis. And before I taught them this strategy, they were not seeing anything near to, to the results that they see uh, now from, from, from learning this from us. So I want to welcome you guys to the Special Needs Housing Academy. This is what we and my, uh, myself and my team have put together um, to, uh, to really make your lives much easier than than uh, than mine was at, at the beginning of this, but pr before before I jump into that, I want to go through um, the pros and cons of, um, of of really you know the current invest in, in investing models, right? So you're wholesaling, you're fix and flips, traditional landlording, and they all have they all have good and, and, and bad points, but I mean wholesaling depending on what state you're in. Um, I can tell you in New York, wholesaling is very difficult because you have attorneys to deal with. Um, so really, it, you're, you're limited to what part of the country that you're in to do it successfully. I don't care what these gurus tell you or who says what. You come to New York and you try wholesaling deals, unless all parties are, are um, good with it, the, the deal won't happen. And you're not going to get away with putting down $100 either, not in New York. Not in New Jersey, not in Connecticut. Some parts of the country it may work, but I want a strategy that will work anywhere I go. 
right? And, you, and the amount of cash that you're gonna make is limited. You need a huge buyer's list with wholesaling because if you don't, you're not gonna do that many deals. You may do a deal here and there, but it's not gonna be consistent what you can live off of. What about fix and flips? You gotta have money to do that. Most of the time you gotta have some decent credit. Or you're gonna have, or you would have to know somebody who's got a lot of cash, right? You gotta deal with contractors, you gotta deal with permitting, you gotta deal with inspectors. Then you gotta deal with trying to sell the house after it's done, let's not mention all the unforeseen things that you come up against. I mean, let's face it, guys. It's not, you know, it's not as as uh, as as uh, sweet and and rosy as most of the gurus make it sound. You know, traditional landlording. What about that? The money is garbage. It's shit. You don't make any money. What do you make? You, residually, you make five hundred bucks a month, six hundred bucks a month after after your expenses are paid on on a on a uh, single family home, how are you gonna live off that? You're gonna wait 20 years for, that, for the equity to come? Or maybe you're gonna go out there and get 100 homes so you can, so you can actually make a, 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 a decent living off of, right? So let's walk through, um, or let me give you a walk through of, of our um, process, especially needs housing process. Uh, our process is uh, pretty simple. Uh, locate a property, and with this, you don't have to, uh, you don't even have to own the property. I have a lot of students that would start and um, uh, start off with rentals, or they would partner uh, with other folks who had buildings and they had access to the special needs tenants. So they would go ahead and fill those buildings for the investors and take a 30% cut. Uh, we still do that to this day. So uh, you don't have to own the property. Um, if, you, if you don't want to, you can also rent the property, you can partner on the property, or you, you can own the property. Once you locate the property, you would reach out to the agencies, let the agencies what, know what kind of property you have. They'll send you over the tenants, they'll do all the screening, they'll do everything. And they'll place the tenants in the house for you. Oh, I'm sorry, back up one step. You, you do have to get furniture for the house. The house has to be fully furnished. But with our contacts in the industry, uh, a four-bedroom house uh, usually runs you about 2,500 bucks or so. So, um, you know, it's, it's, rather, um, it's a rather simple process. There's nothing crazy here. Find the house, contact the agency, they fill it collect your checks every month, all right? Special needs housing, what is it and how does it work, right? So special, need, special needs housing is, um, it's a housing that is provided and paid for by the government or other nonprofits for people that are considered either A, developmentally disabled, um, have gone through some sort of um, substance abuse, or they can have physical disabilities. It's really anybody that's disabled and uh, labeled disabled by the government. Um, there's different levels of disability. The, the, the folks that we work with have to be high functioning, and they don't need any supervision. So a lot of these folks will go to work, they uh, they do normal stuff just like you and I every day. They just have some sort of disability that's limiting them somewhat. So they can't work a full work week. They can't uh, uh, get as much money as, as you or I can. And the government pays them uh, or pays pays for their for their rent or uh, their living expenses, uh, electricity stipend, so on and so forth. Um, and they need landlords to really provide housing because the need for housing out there is so great it's it's impossible for us and 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 the investors that are out there right now the small amount of investors to keep up with the need for housing i we have a waiting list that is hundreds of people long and it's impossible for us to keep up with this need with 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 acquiring the homes it's just it's impossible right so 
since since we're renting out to these folks, how how are the rents calculated, right? And how how is this how is this paid out, right? So the rents are very different than what you would be normally used to. Rents are uh, calculated very differently. They are calculated by bedroom or sometimes by bed. So you would normally, let's say, get fifteen hundred dollars for or thirteen hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment here in New York in certain counties. Um, that tell that tells us and that lets us know that the agencies will pay us thirteen hundred dollars per bedroom, right? So you're doing something by the slice now rather than the whole pie. It's like selling a whole pizza that you would sell for 10 or $12. When you break it up by the slice, you get mad. Uh, you get more. You get, um, you, you would end up getting uh, three, about $24 or $16 rather than that 10 or 12. So when you break it up into slices, you get more. And that's what we did. Instead of renting the whole house, we broke it up into slices and into bedrooms. This way it was more affordable for them and more profitable for us because most of these folks are only walking away with about five, six, seven hundred dollars a month for housing. And what are you going to get for that? You're not going to get furniture. You're not going to get utilities. You're not going to get any of that. So we broke it up by bedroom, sometimes by bed. This way it was more affordable for them and more profitable for us. Okay. Now the agency's non for profit and government that we work with, um, there are hundreds of them out there, um, and they all differ in, in every state, every county that you're in. But don't worry, we teach you how to deal with these agencies. We teach you how to contact them. We teach you all the ins and outs of this entire business. And I can tell you this, the agencies and non -for -pro uh, the non-for-profit and the government agencies are your lifeblood. They are your lifeblood of this business. And if you do right by their clients, who will be your tenants, they will keep you full and keep you busier than you could ever, ever imagine. Now, so why you don't need cash or credit to do the deals, okay? Most of the houses um, that we, or the strategies that we teach you how to go out and acquire these properties, we teach you how to use the financing that's A, already in place, or B, we teach you how to go out and partner with these land, uh, with other landlords or other investors, which it might sound crazy, but I can promise you, you start going out and telling people uh, that you're getting between 200% to 500% above market returns on your rental properties, and they'll start partnering with you. Because even giving up 30% of their income, they're still making more money with you than they would on their own. Okay, so um, with the structures that we teach you, you're not going to need cash or credit. You're going to use the financing that's already in place that the current seller has in place, or you're going to partner with an investor, or you can even go out and get a rental. And there's a lot of ways that you can do it without using cash or credit, and we break down all of those different ways for you. Um, one of the things I, I always like to tell uh, to tell our students is because you know, they ask us, well, why didn't you why didn't you stick with the fix and flips? Why didn't you stick with wholesaling? Why didn't you stick? Why do you only do it sometimes? Rental income is king, folks. I want you to sit back and think. The only investment that has never dropped in value but increases year after year is rental income. Stocks go up and down. Housing values go up and down. Bonds and currencies fluctuate, but rents have always increased, consistently increased year after year. Never gone down. So you can't lose with a rental income. You just have to change your structure of how you're getting the income. All of those of you guys that are out there landlording or whatever, uh, you, you, you're, you're dreaming in, in the right direction. You, you're just kind of having the wrong type of dream, right? So we're here to, to, uh, 
to give you the right guidance and, and to give you the, the strategy that's, that's going to change all that for you guys. So let, I want to go into a few um, case studies that we have of some properties that we own. Uh, a couple of them are um, older. One of them is newer. I think we got three. The first property here is, that's 15 Hamilton Avenue. That is a two-family house, right? Six bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, three bedrooms up, three bedrooms down. Actually, there's another little bedroom in there, but uh, they won't let us get away with putting another person in there because it's like a little bit bigger than a closet. Um, but we did have somebody in there at one time. So this house, um, when we picked it up, it was full. We had to get everybody out, the tenants that were in there, um, and to clean up the house. No crazy renovation or anything. I think we did paint. That was really pretty much it. Um, that house uh, market rent uh, rented for with the upstairs and downstairs rented for twenty four fifty. That was with the upstairs and the downstairs. Um, one went for uh, eleven hundred, which was the upstairs unit. Downstairs unit went for thirteen fifty. Right now, we have one person in each bedroom, and that house brings in $5,600 per month. $5,600 per month. That's over 200% increase. It's 250% roughly increase just by changing the type of tenants that we had. I don't even do maintenance on this house. One of my guys, one of my, uh, one of my vets in this house, he does all the maintenance for us. <laughs> I throw him an extra couple hundred bucks a month. He's, he's, he's so happy to get it. Gives him something to do because he can't, he can't work because of his disability. So he maintains the house. I don't even pay for maintenance on the house. I don't pay for shoveling. I don't pay for a company. Uh, I should say I don't pay for it. I don't pay for an outside company to come in and to handle any of this. You don't pay for any of that. I have my tenants do it and they're happy to do it. it gives them pride in the property. We never ever had issues with any tenants busting up any of our stuff, um, you know, treating the houses like crap. We don't have any of that. They all treat the houses great. We never have any issues. Completely different, completely different clientele than what you guys are used to, right? Here's the next property, 150 Lake Street. Uh, market rental uh, on this place was just over 2000 a month. This is a six, six bedroom, right? Yep, six bedrooms, three bathrooms. Um, it's in another county um, from, from uh, it's in a different county than the last house that, that you saw. Um, so the rents are a little bit different. But uh, it was just shy over $2,000 a month is what market was. We get 6000 a month. 6,000 and I don't even deal with tenants on this house. We had an agency, one of the not-for-profit agencies that we work with came in, they took the entire house. So I gave the master lease to the director of the agency. She took over the entire house. We don't ever see tenants. I don't ever deal with tenants. Only time they call is for us to pick up the rent check. They deal with everything. Utilities, furniture, bill, everything. They deal with everything. We don't ever, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever go to this house. Uh, next property is 65 Wickham. This house is insane. Wait till you hear the numbers on this house. 65 Wickham is just shy of 5,000 square feet. It has um, six bedrooms, four bathrooms. Um, because of the, the county that it's in, the market rent on this house was $1,800 low, especially even for New York, but pretty low. But because the county is a little far out. That's a little bit cheaper. The special needs income on this house that we get, $12,000. I'm gonna repeat that. The market rental income is supposed to be 1,800. The special needs income is 12,000. The house was big enough for us to put 24 people in the house. And we get about $500 a bed. You do the math. Yes, we pay for utilities. That costs about another 1000 a month. 
and we furnished it. The furniture cost us about 2,300 bucks, 2,500 bucks. Not bad, right? So we will, on this house, after all expenses, mortgage, taxes, everything, it's about $9,000 that we walk with after all expenses. Unheard of. Trust me. Trust and believe you'll never make that doing things traditionally. Right? Results. We've taught multiple investors, both beginners and seasoned, how to partner with other property owners so that they could collect residual monies every month without even owning the property. You heard me say it before, you don't have to own the property. They don't care, the agencies don't care if you rent it, they don't care if you partner with somebody, they don't care. They need housing so bad they don't even ask questions. And this is not Section 8, guys. I just, I want to, I want to step in and say that this is not, this is not Section 8, okay? So get, don't, don't even think that. I, I don't mess with Section 8, it's a nightmare. So why is it, why do you think it's so hard for most people to succeed in real estate investing? Why do most fail? Why do you think? So let's talk about your so-called uh, guru, right? Most of them haven't done a real estate deal in God only knows how long, decades. They're teaching you old strategies. They give you bits and pieces so you have to continuously buy their next program and buy their next program until you've spent about 20000 to have a complete system. It's the carrot on the, on the, on the string uh, trick. They keep learning you in, learning you in, learning you in with uh, motivational seminars and rah, rah, this and rah, rah. We don't do that. I don't need to sell this program to make money. I'm doing it because we're trying to help more people um, get housed out there because we can't do it all, number one. Number two, I want to see my fellow investors start to make some money without having to pull their hair out because I know how difficult it is out there. Okay. Our students have a super high success rate. We don't, we give them one program and that program has everything soup to nuts. You don't need to uh, uh, go out and buy more programs from us or do anything like that. You get this program. It gives you everything. This strategy that we're, that we're talking about here, the special needs housing, you can do this by itself, or you can do it with another strategy, combine it. We, uh, we have a lot of investors that, that they have houses that they hold on to, and they have deals that they flip. I still do flips. I'm not saying that they're no good. I'm just saying you can't build a, a, a consistent business on it and a predictable business. You can't. It's too hard. Yeah, there's some guys out there that can do it, but it's few and far between. There's only so many good properties out there, right? Our students have a super, super high success rate because their business is predictable. They know what they're going to get every month. And if they want to increase their, 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 excuse me, they want to increase their income every month, they go get another property and they know exactly how many, how many, how much money they're going to make. Cause all they got to do is walk in the door and count how many bedrooms are in that property. And they know exactly how much money they're going to make every month. Can you do that? And this, these, these tips or this, this, what we're speaking about here, these are just foundational. These are just the foundational tips. This is just really the beginning of, of what, of what you need. So don't make the mistakes that, that other people over that over uh, that others overlook. We've had students that they would come and train with us for a week or two and they think they can go out and do it on their own and then they all end up falling flat in their face and they want to come back, which is fine, but you guys don't have to do that, right? The biggest key to this business is knowing who to contact and how to contact them properly. Because trust and believe if you don't approach us properly, you will not get through the door with those agencies, especially with the new HIPAA laws that are out. 
You could spend thousands of hours trying to figure out exactly who to contact, what to say, where to find the correct contacts. Our list made it super simple for our guys to go straight to the source. But we'll, we give you guys the same list. We give you guys um, um, a number of uh, non-for-profit and government agencies in, in all 50 states we give you access to. And that really just eliminates all the, the frustration and headache of, of trying to locate the right contacts. Really, you don't have to go what we went through. You don't have to experience that because we did all the hard work for you guys, right? So you can, yes you can, you really can create a successful real estate investment business. One that's sustainable, free from heavy competition, one that has a guaranteed and residual income, and one that gives back to your community. Remember, we're on this call because you wanted to Whatever, everybody's on here for, for a, different, a different reason. Either you're not making the money that you want, or your business isn't going the way you want, or you're tired of being at your job. The best way to get out of all that and to get out of that rut is to use a proven system. One that has proven results. We have our houses, we put our houses online, uh, a lot of them this way our students can see, our students from around the country can see and have a model to go after. You can see that we do this every day, day in and day out. I don't just say it. We have agencies that write stuff about us all the time where we're, uh, you Google our company, you can see tons of stuff about us, recent, current stuff, right? So we know what works. We know how to create a successful real estate investing business. We started this with nothing, zero. Okay. So we put together the special needs housing Academy for you guys. And, um, we're going to go through, um, acquisitions, which, uh, including deal structure and evaluation. We're going to go through the agencies, government and nonprofit, um, rehousing, which I know is a new term to you guys, um, uh, set up and pricing of the rental units, um, building and managing a power team, which is hugely important, especially if you want to have your freedom, right? We're going to teach you guys additional, um, uh, uh, income streams that, uh, evolve out of this business that you don't have to spend, um, uh, an additional dollar in making some additional funds because, there's uh, these additional streams of income that are that are right in front of you. So, uh, and then we're going to go through the sales and marketing as well. We give you a complete system because without good sales training, you're not going to be able to speak to the sellers and and really uh, get them to do what they need to do or what you want them to do. If you don't know how to market properly, your marketing materials are going to go out and look like crap. If you don't know how to um, do deal structure and acquire the properties. You're never going to get anything under contract. If you don't know how to work with the agencies, you're never going to get any tenants. They'll never speak to you. If you don't know how to do rehousing, you're not going to know how to fill the properties uh, and how to structure them. You don't know how to price them out. Nobody's ever going to send you anybody because you're going to be too expensive or you're going to burn yourself out and not make any money because you're going to be too cheap. And we teach you how to build and manage a power team. Without them, you got no time, no freedom, no nothing. Your business will consume you. Right? Enter the Special Needs Housing Academy, guys. Our system and strategy, when done right, will create that sustainable real estate investment success and guaranteed residual income stream that you're looking for when done right you got to be able to follow directions when done right it will create a sustainable income stream for you and your family today i promised guys to go over um a few points with you okay so let me let me recap um quickly and and just reflect on on uh on how I cover them, okay? We walk through some uh, key ways uh, to profit from properties that you don't, uh, you don't have to own, right? 
who's went through how to make 200% to 500% returns on any property, either you own or manage, right? We went through why the government will actually guarantee you funding and guarantee your rents for these properties. We went through how to tap into billions of dollars that the government has earmarked for this particular um, public assistance program. We went through how to get thousands of dollars in rent increases per month, right? And how you can duplicate this simple system and use it for your own benefit. So we walked through some key ways and um, uh, uh, some ways that you probably never thought of to profit from these properties. And again, you, you don't even have to own them. You can rent them, you can partner, right? So we also took a, a, a look inside at my business, the process involved. We took an in-depth look at um, some of the, um, the case studies and the properties that we have. We touched on some of, uh, some of the students that we've been teaching, right? And how uh, a successful REI business um, brings in guaranteed rental payments every month with automatic rent increases. How to build a power team so you can work on your business and not in your business. Remember, we just talked about that a couple slides ago. Without having a power team, you're going to be stuck doing everything. You'll keep all the money, but you'll never get to spend it because you'll be working all the time. And why not? We also touched on why not having this strategy in place has you leaving tons of cash on the table every month. If you're only getting market rent for your property, you're doing something wrong because there's a lot more money out there on the table than you're taking in. We also went over how you can do all of this without driving for dollars, hanging bandit signs, creating and maintaining expensive websites, cold calling to people that you don't know, strangers, or having any of the other complicated marketing stuff that you don't really want to do anyway. I don't do any of that. Nothing. I don't do any of that. I don't market. I go to RIAs every month and I get people to, to um, you know, pass properties on to us or um, just referrals. Really, all our properties mainly come from referrals and we have more more properties than we know what to do with, right? How about the, zero, the, the secret to zero vacancies and why these properties need little to no maintenance or repairs? You're always going to have a guy in one of your properties that's, that's going to take care of the property for you. Or even, even better, a lot of the guys will chip in um, together and, and bang stuff out together. You won't pay for snow removal. You don't pay for... You won't pay for grass cutting, just buy a lawnmower and keep it there. No maintenance. Guys, it's like a dream come true. I wish I would have known about this 15 years ago. All right? So what you need to do to do this yourself, what do you need to do this yourself? All right? You need the right methods and strategies. That's number one. Okay. There's only three easy, there's three steps, guys, three easy steps, right? The first one is the right methods and strategies. The second is correct contacts to get the tenants and the properties, right? Tenants is being key. Properties, you can find, find uh, over-leveraged properties everywhere. And most importantly, you need the exact blueprint on how to implement all of our methods and strategies, okay? We built the Special Needs Housing Academy. We did this so it could be your real estate investing treasure map. We really did, as crazy as it sounds, I mean, really, we, we really did. I mean, this is legitimately a treasure map. Where, what other strategy can you go to that you don't even have to own the property and you're putting thousands of dollars a month in your pocket? Which one? There isn't one out there. You have to bust your butt. 
in order to make any money. So whatever you showed up wanting, I hope you got this one thing. Our system is designed to be your treasure map for building a successful REI business that generates guaranteed monthly residual income while giving back to your community. That's the other huge thing. What real estate investing strategy allows you to give back to your community? Yeah, you get to, you get to beautify a house with fix and flips, but what other giving back are you doing? You're actually helping people with, with housing. You're giving people a safe, clean place to live when maybe before they were sleeping in a basement that didn't have concrete or sleeping in a roach infested house. I mean, we've seen it. We've seen it all. So in the coming weeks, um, you can stop chasing bad deals, bad tenants, stop cold calling and emailing, stop hanging bandit signs, stop trying to use the same worn out, played out, boring strategies that everyone else is using. Be different, guys. Be different. Be innovative. You can finally have the unfair advantage over all the competition in your market and get paid extremely well for having the upper hand. And you can do this without any money out of your pocket. You can go to people that already had the buildings. You could build your real estate investing business in a way that doesn't fluctuate with the market and, and makes consistent and guaranteed residual income like clockwork. Doesn't fluctuate. You don't have to worry about if, if housing prices are going up, if they're going down. You don't have to worry about what the market is doing. It doesn't matter what the market is doing. It doesn't matter. So really think about it. What is it costing you to not be taking advantage of this unique and untapped opportunity right now? What's it costing you? How much time are you are you losing not 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 uh, spending the the time with your family that you want? You don't have any of that real freedom. What real do you really have real freedom? What about stressing on where your next check is coming from? How about cash crunches? Christmas? Gifts? My partner and I were able to just go away to Mexico for three weeks. And we came back and we had checks waiting in the mailbox. We didn't lose any money, any time either. Our business kept going, kept running. Don't you want something like that? I know that's what I dreamed for when I first got into real estate. But you have a choice. You have a choice. You can either go forward with your status quo or if you want a sustainable business that gives you maximum results, then here's what we have for you. The Special Needs Housing Academy. It's an in-depth seven-week program, okay, that me and my Special Needs Housing REI team, we're going to teach you the steps that you need to to um, to gain REI success in this industry, which is the special needs industry, okay? You're actually uh, dealing with two two industries because you're you're dealing with the uh, real estate industry and you're dealing with the special needs industry. And these are the exact methods and strategies that I and my team use in our business and with our private high-end clients. If I told you what we get to go in and train somebody and set up their business, you would hit the floor. Because we get a hundred grand to set up somebody's business and to teach them what you're gonna learn in this course. 
Special Needs Housing Academy. It's a, it's a seven weekly video trainings that walk you through every step of our methods and strategies from laying the foundation to all the other advanced strategies um, within the industry. By the time the academy is done, you should have everything that you need to be, uh, become successful in this amazing special needs business. Everything. We don't leave anything out. Remember before we were speaking about what the other gurus leave out? I hate that word, guru. God, it turns my stomach. But we don't leave anything out. We gave you its turnkey, uh, keys to see, whatever you want to call it. You have everything that you need to go out and do it on your own. The documents, the, 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 the training, the guidance, everything is there. You don't need anything. Anything. Okay, but I can tell you this, this training program is only, only for people that are actually serious about making money in real estate. This is not for tire kickers. This is not for people who want to get rich quick overnight. You want fast? Go to the drive through window at McDonald's for a happy meal. This is for those that are ready to jumpstart their business the right way with the right blueprint in a unique and untapped industry that's thriving, thriving. No feast or famine here. It's thriving. I'm not even kidding you. My partner was telling me the other day, he doesn't, he, he's never seen people throw money at us like this before ever, ever in life. Has he ever seen people throw money like this at us? We have investors, we have to turn people away. We just turned somebody who was getting ready to give us $200,000 the other day, we turned them away, right? And you have to be somebody that's gonna be willing to follow directions, right? Because if you can't follow directions, you wanna do things your way or the way that you think is better, you're never gonna get anywhere. And this is only for people that are willing to take responsibility for their own success, right? It's our job to teach you and advise you. And obviously to make sure that you do it right, right? But it's your job to do the work. You got to get out there and do it. We can't force you to do it. This is supposed to be self-development, not shelf development, where you leave this on your shelf and it just collects dust. You're supposed to use it. So if that's you, then we've got something very special for you. But first, let me answer the question that might be on your mind. Why am I doing this? Why? If it's so great, why am I sharing this? Well, I decided... I wanted to share this strategy with other people because first and foremost, I'm passionate about helping more people in need across the country, like especially our men and women in uniform and our special needs community, okay? They desperately, desperately need it. To get homelessness under control is another big passion of mine. And even better if we could get rid of it. I mean, shit, if Canada did it, I don't see why we can't. Um, and also to help other uh, help show other investors how to make an amazing living, right? We wanted to teach others so that they can have and experience the kind of life and freedoms that we have and enjoy because of this business. It's not fair for other investors, and especially not fair to those in need, to try to keep this a secret and behind closed doors just so the other investors, just so they could keep all the money to, them, to themselves. There's way more than enough money for everyone to share in and to become wealthy. There really is. It's an untapped market. Untapped. Well, barely tapped. Let's say that. So here's what's covered in the course. Week one, right? Acquisition and deal structure right? Um, we go through what is the, what the special needs housing industry is, cutting edge real estate tactics in today's market, finding and choosing the right properties, rehab estimates, subject to, we go through lease purchase, 
um, we go through the deal structure and how to partner with property owners to collect residual income every month, right? Remember, I spoke to, I spoke about this about a hundred times through here. And we show you how to do this without ever owning the properties, right? We show you how to start generating money without ever owning the property. Because if you're like me, you're coming into this, you don't have cash, you gotta figure out how to do it with no money. So week two, module two, is lead flow and deal evaluation. We're gonna teach you the steps and methods on how to manage and control your lead flow for the highest conversion. Week three, we're gonna go through the government, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna go through the agencies, government and nonprofit, right? We're gonna teach you all the different kinds of agencies that you're gonna be working with in your area, okay? We're gonna teach you exactly how to find them, how to work with each one of them, and exactly what to do and what not to do when contacting them to guarantee your success. Because like I told you, HIPAA laws right now are crazy. So there's a very there's a very specific way you have to go about contacting these agencies or you will get nowhere fast. And it's it's a small community, so word spreads. Your business name will get around very fast. Okay? So week four is all about rehousing and property management. Rehousing is simply what it sounds like. You are rehousing either the veterans or folks with special needs, you're taking them out of an institutional setting and rehousing them back into the community. That's what rehousing is. So we go through, we teach you how to, how to um, properly rehouse tenants. And we teach you um, uh, proper property management, okay? It's gonna make your life a lot easier and stress-free by, by doing it this way. Uh, week five is managing and keeping track. We're gonna teach you exactly how to grow, manage, and train your team and business, okay? Um, it's gonna be tactical instruction on supervising and running a well-oiled business that effect effectively leverages the efforts of other people on your team. Because without that, you're gonna be doing everything yourself and you're not gonna have any freedom and you're gonna be working in your business instead of on your business. When you're supposed to work on your business and not in your business, right? Week six, business development and additional streams of income. We're gonna give you step-by-step -step on how to add additional streams of income to your business. Uh, pretty much by taking your current clients and situations, scenarios, and really turning them into additional income sources without having to spend any additional cash or, or time, um, you know, get making this extra money, which is, which is pretty cool because I have yet to see anybody really ever do that. Um, and week seven is the master plan, putting it all together. You're going to see what it looks like to have a fully operational and most profitable single family special needs housing location um, that we're running, you're actually gonna have a, an over the shoulder view of, um, of this property. And we're, you're really gonna see everything that you've learned throughout the entire course, you're gonna see it in action in a, in a very smooth flowing manner uh, by watching us do you know, what we do. Um, I don't know about smooth, I'm not that smooth, but. I get the job done, that's for sure. <laughs> um, all right, so, and you're also gonna get um, access to the course for a year. You get it for 12 months, okay? Um, you're gonna get the, my master, um, my master swipe file, all the contracts, forms, templates, and all the other documents that we have. Um, we're gonna give you that with the course. That has a value of 497, guys, okay? And we're, we're just, we're going to, we're going to give it to you because, you know, without having the proper documents, it's, you know, I don't want, I don't want anybody getting sued or anybody not being able to protect themselves. So these documents are the ones that we use day in and day out. We're also going to give you a national Rolodex of all the major agencies across the U.S. Okay. Uh, in, in all 50 states, guys, that has a value of 997. All right, and we're gonna give you that for free when you get the course. Um, 
You're also going to get a national Rolodex of all of our vendors. Okay. All the people that we deal with, all the people that we get our furniture from, um, lawyers, anybody that we use or, or deal with um, for our business on, on a daily basis, we're going to give you guys access to that too. Uh, most of these are national companies, so don't worry about where you live. Um, that's not going to matter because they're all over the U.S. All right? So we're going to give you guys a lot of stuff. We want to make sure that you know, you're going to be as successful um, as possible and um, have, have all the tools that you need at your, disposable, at your disposal to make your business run as smooth and as efficient as possible. Right. So I know you're, you guys are probably wondering, well, what's the price? Well, like I told you before, we charge a hundred grand to work with people um, one on one. Okay. So if we were to come in, set up your business and teach you everything that we're going to teach you in the course, if we were to do that face to face, it would be a hundred grand. And I'm not bullshit. That's what we charge. I'm not just saying that to say it, but the price for you guys, right? It's not going to be the hundred grand, obviously, right? We're going to do twenty four ninety seven, guys. Twenty four ninety seven. Okay. The full value um, of all the training and, and all the bonuses that we're giving you is $7,488, right? The entire course value is five grand. That's for the course itself. And then you have the bonuses, which are about 2,488 bucks, which gives you your total of $7,488. Okay. So, we can give you an action taking guarantee as well. If you go through the entire training, you take action and implement everything that we teach, we guarantee you'll get massive value and results. Guarantee it. This is for action takers only guys. You got to implement every step you can't. And we can see, on the um, course, we can see where you left off, how much of a certain module you, you've watched. We can see everything. It, it, technology is insane nowadays. So this is for action takers. You got to implement everything. Everything. Okay? Not just the modules that you want. Not just, no, you have to implement everything. Because we really can't see it. I'm not just telling you that. The fast action discount, okay? We're going to do a fast action discount for you guys. If you sign up by tonight at midnight, Eastern time that is, don't, don't come and say you're in California. I don't give a shit about that. Eastern time by midnight, we will take off. If you sign up by then, we'll take off an additional thousand bucks, okay? So if you sign up, again, if you sign up before midnight, Eastern time, we will take off an additional thousand bucks, guys. That's a final investment of fourteen ninety seven. You got to go to www.secretrei.com. That's secretrei.com is where you're going to go to order. And that fourteen ninety seven, when the clock hits midnight, trust me. These guys do not play. When midnight hits, that price is going to be changed and it's going to be back to $24.97. Seriously. Time's limited, guys. We're going to close the doors to the program with all the bonuses at midnight. I'm not just saying that shit. We're doing. We have, um, before we even went live and started launching the course, we were presenting this to RIAs across the country. And um, we really want to keep it limited to people that are you know, doing it out there because we don't want to have the agencies and all these other people get inundated with a ton of calls of new people starting to use the program and asking them. No. So we're going to keep it limited. Okay. So if you don't come in, you're not in by midnight, you're out of gas guys. Done. Finished. 
And I don't know when we're going to open it back up again. All right. So how do you join? You got to head to secretrei.com. That's www.secretrei.com. You're going to be immediately emailed uh, a username and password so you can get started with week one immediately. All right. The minute you the minute you pay, you're gonna go go right to your inbox, whatever whatever email address you put, go to your inbox, and you're gonna um, you're gonna find um, uh, your username and password. It's gonna be emailed to you. If you don't see it right away, maybe check your spam too, because some of these uh, emails are are uh, are kind of funny and they get a little crazy with what they think spam is now. So guys, go grab your spot now, secretrei.com, all right? That's secretrei.com. Remember, midnight Eastern time, it's done. It goes back to the 2497. I don't know when we're gonna do the 1497 price again. I have no idea. So, and also we talked about uh, your free gift. You can go to your inbox, you'll be emailed um, the free gift, and um, I hope you enjoy that. And, uh, and right now, I want to open up to any questions. So, if you guys have any questions, um, you know, you can start following them through, or you can also um, don't forget to go to secretrei.com, guys, by midnight, because if you're not there, you snooze, you lose, right? Grab your spot now because trust me it will be gone midnight eastern time done so look i hope you guys enjoyed the webinar if you have any questions um you know about this uh we're going to email you your your free gift and uh, that should answer a lot of questions for you um if not, you can go to the secretrei.com. You should get some of your questions answered there. And um, I hope to see you on the inside of the winner's circle, guys.